Close to 800,000 Canadians are living with Alzheimer's disease or other dementias, and many are living at home, cared for by loved ones in Victoria. An Alzheimer's group here is grateful to the Victoria Foundation for helping fund their new program. Swing low, sweet chariot. Musician Gene Tommy plays a familiar tune, and that's important because this is a program for those living with Alzheimer's. We have the program running Monday to Friday um, with different numbers of individuals coming depending on the day, but averaging 14 to 15 individuals. Staff know how much it means to caregivers to have a welcoming place for their loved ones, but also... It became really clear that so many caregivers out there really ha don't know each other, don't have any place to go, don't feel they have any support. It's a really difficult position for people to be in. And so the Victoria Foundation has provided funding for a Saturday program, and it includes a monthly lunch and talk for caregivers. And I found that extremely uh, worthwhile and informative and supportive. Um, and you learn a lot from each other as caregivers too. Pam Copley's husband, Brian, was diagnosed with early onset Alzheimer's four years ago at age 64. My husband started out originally uh, three days. He's now down to one, and it's not because they don't want him here, but it's just because his uh, level of capability has diminished such that they don't have the staff to support that one-on-one uh, -on -one care that's needed for him. It's one of thousands of caregiver stories. There is no going back, unfortunately. This is a, a cruel and relentless journey, and um, we know what the end result is. And it's really hard for our family, too, because my family's still young. They're losing a dad. Um, their children are losing a grandfather, and um, my husband and I are losing our future together. Copley is grateful for this program and the monthly caregiver lunches. All of those things are absolutely critical to keeping um, families uh, to, uh, from, from falling apart, uh, dealing with this huge challenge of, of caring for someone with dementia. And even running six days a week, staff can't fill the need in this community. And the waiting list is only growing because Alzheimer's, as you know, is with the boomer generation getting older, it's growing. I would just love to see more programs of this type. No phone, no food, no gas. The research demonstrates that the more engagement, uh, the longer the symptoms are, are held at bay. Learn more about the Restful Creations program at the links tab on our website. This check program is brought to you in part by Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.